Hey, so good morning, everyone. My name is Brian. This is Caroline, Steven, Ryan, and Michael. And we were asked to come up with some ideas as to how the Baltimore County Employees Federal Credit Union can reach 18 to 30 year olds. After our research, we found the best ways to reach them and show them how they can obtain low cost funds are by social media, referral recommendations, and a better website to find. So when we were doing our research, we found the only social media site that the DCFCU is active on is Facebook. So therefore, we suggest becoming active on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Just by a show of hands, how many of you have used at least three of these sites before? Okay, so pretty much all of you. So in terms of content you can post on these sites, we suggest things like events, promotions, instructional videos, or reminders, or anything that's useful to uh, your target audience. So now I'm gonna hand it off to Michael, and he's gonna talk about referral recommendations. Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, we found that people like incentives for referring to friends, and you guys have a win-win. I saw that you guys already have a referral recommendation uh, program. We have points, and those points could be earned through referral. I was thinking that you guys can op offer points that people can redeem for um, trips or prizes. They can also get cash bonuses, lower rates, or uh, their name entered into a giveaway drawing for like an, a MacBook or an iPad, something related to school. Uh, we were thinking that if you guys offer students, that if they refer five of their friends, they can get a lower loan rate. I saw that you guys have a third, go through a third party and currently offer a, a quarter of a percent off I was thinking you guys would double that and have a 50% off. Yeah. And then now I'm gonna hand it off to Ryan to talk about website design. Thanks. Um, so one of the main ways that uh, 18 to 30 year olds uh, research and find information is through the internet. And uh, we think that a good website design can really benefit your company. Um, so when we were looking at your website, some of the suggestions that we had was the social media links. We think that you could add um, the Instagram, the Twitter that we talked about. Um, another thing that we thought of is the background. There's a lot of white space. Um, we think that you could maybe add an enlarged, limit, an enlarged <coughs> image, um, maybe a background color like green or blue, um, something to make it look a little bit more attractive so they can it out that's good. Um, so we also took a look at your youth center page. Um, we think that this would be a really good page to make pop, add a lot of color, some images. Um, we noticed that there was also a lot of wording. It looks a little bit cluttered. Um, we think that maybe you could take out some of these descriptions here on the bottom and just have the, uh, the captions. Um, also in the middle, you have your credit union products. We think that this would be a good thing to enlarge, um, make prominent on this website page. Um, we also think that hiring millennials could really help. Um, millennials are very tech savvy. They also know what other millennials like. Um, so we think that could help really kickstart the process and help out your company. So now I'll pass it off to Lita to introduce what some of your competitors do well. Good morning, my name is Wei. Um, and for the next couple of slides, we're gonna talk about a little bit of, of uh, what other competitors are doing differently to attract millennials to start banking. <coughs> And uh, from our research, these three banks, CQs, m and and uh, uh, Point Breeze can give us a general idea of uh, the stats. And as for CQ, we can see that they are pretty active on the social media websites. Um, I think being active on social media website is building a connection and uh, building a relationship with your customer. And onto their websites, they will usually, um, they often post stuff like um, community service, or uh, school seminars that they give out to the local communities. Um, this way, um, you are sending a message, uh, you are advertising your brand uh, locally, and also um, sending out, mess, um, setting a good, me uh, sorry, setting a good uh, image for your company um, to the public as well. And, um, secondly, on the YouTube uh, channel, 
they will sometimes post instructional videos and educational videos for millennials um, who have never, um, who have no financial skills or uh, any knowledge of uh, banking, um, the banking systems. And this way, um, you are sending a message to them to let them uh, them know the uh, financial world is uh, less intimidating and you guys will be a less intimidating choice when they are uh, choosing for uh, banking. Uh, next, uh, Caroline will bring you the next part of the presentation. Great, so one of the competitors we looked at was M&T Bank's website. We thought they did a really good job with appealing to what millennials are looking for on a website and their design. Um, inside the brochures we handed out to you guys, we um, provided some statistics we found from a marketing research group that basically supports all the research that millennials really want a easy to access website that has brief content that's well written. They don't want anything too overcrowded or hard to find. So m and Bank, one of the things they offer um, on the bottom right is a help center um, with answers for frequently um, for problems and technical difficulties, we think that's really convenient because millennials don't want to have to search for the information. If they get frustrated, they want the answers immediately. And that also comes with a 24-7 hotline number they can call. Um, our other competitor that we looked at um, was Point Brief. Um, they obviously have a very colorful website. We think that that is also what millennials, that appeals to millennials. Um, they do a great job of marketing and promoting all of their promotions and benefits. It's um, top here and it's slides. One thing we really liked about it was that it's just brief, um, simple headlines, it's not too wordy. Um, so they're able to click on it and it will just lead to something else instead of a ton of little um, paragraphs all over. It's very simple and laid out. So basically we think that these websites do a really good job with their color schemes, um, more attractive and the content is just very brief. So we think that if you guys just reorganize and simplify your website a little bit, it will be a lot more appealing to the millennials who are looking you guys up online because that's so important to them. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, so social media, uh, the referral program, and uh, the website design are three of our main factors that we think is really helpful.